Alright, welcome to a kind of late edition of uh, What the Fuck Happenings in the YouTube Atheist Community and uh, Debate, whatever. Um, and such. Yeah, I'll leave it at that. Uh, really not too much to report on. Um, it's been busy. This and that. Cat. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Well, it's feeding. No doubt. Um,. So yeah, not much to report on. Same old, same old. Uh, yeah, I've just been busy with the this and that. Uh, you know, we're still working on the copying of the um, hard drive, which used to be just a routine process. And somehow I've learned how to screw it up. Um, so uh, yeah, I tried to change the size of the partitions and somehow it went all wrong. I used Linux. <laughs> Go figure. But anyway, um, you know, it's like every everything, every program I went to, it said, oh, yeah, it looks fine to me. You know, everything looks fine, except, yeah, the data is completely corrupted and it's ruined. Uh, but anyway, so I had to do this whole recopying the slow way thing over. And then I'll have to delete all the files again and then try to resize the partition again. And it's windy out here. Um, and then I'll find uh, that uh, that didn't work again. And, you know, I think I'm a backup plan that's better than 30 hours of waiting and waiting. Um, not that I'm without, I'm not without a computer. I mean, I have redundancy now, which is good. Um, but you do get picky, you, you know, once you get used to big screens, you, little screens, a pain in the ass. Anyway, but speaking about the Android thing, I've been work, still working on those. And, uh... You know, I found some interesting stuff, and uh, we'll see if I can get something to do something um, interesting. So, uh, which brings up uh, Rational Access guy, um, Kiwi Boy guy, Wayne, um, who's, you know, working on some programming add-ons to um, the formatting of discussion, let's call it. Uh, filters, maybe. Um, ways of consolidating. I don't know. You will have to see how it comes out. See how see how we see how what direction it goes in. I suppose. Um, I'm thinking of the same thing related to my toolbars. Um, you know, in terms of you know having these subject related. You know, and then they would you could just pop each subject into the the bar easy enough. And uh, you know, but it's that filtering thing is the the key is the figuring out what is the important content. And I think that has to be related to a kind of thing that old fan brought up, um, you know, for our films by, um, you know, having this idea of just asking questions and how much information you can glean through the asking of the question and uh, requiring somebody to answer the question. <laughs> um, you know, it's really so much of the, the conversation is that uh, there's so many people who will ask questions, but they won't answer questions in conversation and uh, yeah um, but yeah everything can sort of be boiled down you can get to the subject that's really the subject you know get past all the the crap being used as rationalizations and get people to admit what is or is not a reasonable um, you know argue. you can't can't have can't use you know escape arguments uh, one minute that you call invalid the next minute I mean if you can invoke magic powers and super forces but you can't complain when somebody else does it then um, but anyway yeah that's probably a way I sound it's close enough way of saying it um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that really you know nothing much happening everybody's a little not everybody but uh, you know fans kind of had a rough week and uh, <laughs> yeah so it's a little, Little progress on the next episode of Vlogger Dome, but uh, you know, yeah, it'll get done, no doubt, in some form or another. You know, I mean, I can always resort to the the the, the act of desperation, and I can just make an hour-long video. <laughs> yeah, I can do that without too much trouble, right? So yeah, hopefully it won't come to that though. Um, so, but yeah, it does make it does give you the, the power to fail because yeah, I have a. You know, I have a failure plan. Um, so anyway, a plan that incorporates the possibility of failure. Let's just put it that way. Uh, I failed to 
you know, maintain the um, order <laughs> that my house once had for a day or two. But it's not, uh, it's not unrepairable. Um, and uh, trying a new camera lens thing. These flips work pretty good in low light, so I figured this might be a good camera for the indoor videos, and I use the other camera outside or something like that. It doesn't really matter. It's not something else. Or you could, who cares? You know, very few possibly care. Um, yeah, so I have to just try. You know, let's put a little lens on here that should help make it so uh, I don't have to do much aiming. <laughs> you know, aiming won't be as critical. I have to replace the light bulb in there. Yeah. <laughs> it's making it uh, dark in here. Um, which is okay. I sort of like the dark. But anyway, that's not really a subject either. I don't think there's much else to say. Um, I figure I'm making a response video to a couple of things, but I just haven't gotten to it. It's been busy with all this other crap. Um, you know, hello, you know. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's just there's stuff in your real life that, uh, you know, you know, pulls you in different ways. Um, and, you, you know, it was my birthday the other day, which is, you know, it's, also, it's kind of depressing and annoying. Um, but this will be, you know, this, this, you know, it's, it's, it's there's, I guess it's, well, I'm, I'm trying to think of a word for the, it's not the round number, it's the in-between the round number number. <laughs> you know, but it's the, it's the two numbers that are the same number, kind of a number. Um, but it's just a preposterously huge number. And uh, so it just kind of feels like the last year. It feels like a good year to go out on. Um, but that's just a feeling, right? So it doesn't mean much. Um, you know, yeah, the, you know, then that's another subject, right? This whole idea of intuition, because Hoffler, they kind of relies on the uh, the the sense that or the the argument that there's some real kind of uh, intuition or innate knowledge and I don't think we have any of that at all so I mean any any sense of deja vu or or intuition or gee that sounds right is <laughs> it's usually traceable to some instruction you received or conditioning or or brainwashing or um, indoctrination into um, you know having that as a familiar guidepost or a familiar um, it's a tree you recognize it's a tree you grew up with kind of thing and that's all that kind of stuff is so I guess I've always sort of lived with a notion of uh, you know dying being associated um, you know with some symbols of completeness or um, you know, doing it in some right step kind of way. So it's like you wouldn't you wouldn't die on some idiotic number year number, you know, like fifty four or fifty six. <laughs> you know, those numbers suck. So yeah, it would be some other kind of number. <laughs> and so that's all that intuition is made out of, right? It's just a complete crap. Um but anyway, it's uh it's it's our nature to sort of that's our intuition, our nature is to um, become attached to um, recognizable, comforting symbols. And uh, it's like I could watch, if I, you know, just say if I was having a bad day, you know, you, I could just watch a Mr. Ed episode or something, and, uh, you know, it takes you, you know, to some other time and place, simpler thoughts and simpler ideas, and um, it has a familiarity that can be comforting, you know, so there's lots of things that do that. You can be movies or whatever it is, but I'm just saying, you know, this is a psychological mechanism. And again, we're primarily psychological organisms, you know, attempting to, um, <clears throat> at least in this corner of YouTube, do something a little less psychological and a little more uh, um, uh, tediously uh, careful. Um, and uh, explicit and, um, you know, not, um, I don't know, but I don't know how to, uh, again, semantics, coming up with the right word to describe the 
fallibility and illegitimacy of uh, you know our psychological crap and the way it invades um, uh, not only our the aggressiveness with which we defend and argue things um, because of our attachment to certain ideas uh, you know our psychological attachment um, uh, yeah but the arguments themselves are you know rationalizations and crap and then and, and, uh, you know that's the source of it is that you know psychological dependency uh, but it's sort of unavoidable in some of these big idea subjects you know just because the our psychological reaction is to a reaction to a, a type of perceived holocaust or a threat of rather significant and dramatic um, relevance, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, if I, if I told you I would, you were going to be captured by aliens and experimented on in a laboratory, and have you know, cancer injected into you, you'd have reason or cause to say, um, maybe we ought to talk about this. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you know, this might be an important subject. Yeah. So anyway. Yeah, I think I've, this qualifies as an adequate enough video. Um, so anyway, sorry I've been uh, inconsistent. Inconsistency is unsettling. I find it unsettling. I don't like. I don't like when things change. I like things to stay manageable, even if they're not good. I just like them to stay. You know, where I can figure out how to play the game. Um, so uh, I don't like being erratic but uh, it's sort of that it's one of those kind of periods where I'm just you know in a state where you know, I sort of have to make certain things happen <laughs> you know and uh, uh, you know in both elements in my virtual life and my real life and uh, you know I don't have a clue <laughs> you know how to do that and so it's just kind of a time for maybe just experimenting and playing with crap and seeing where it goes um, you know I don't have really any other any other way to figure out how to um, slide into the, the circumstance it's like sliding into this old age thing <laughs> you know and I know I know it's not old age but uh, it's old age and uh, yeah I don't like sliding into it I don't you know I have to find some some way to do it. Um, you know that's not dislikable. That doesn't take the, you know, this doesn't strip you of uh, passion and purpose, and doesn't uh, depress the fuck out of you so much that you just say fuck it. Yeah, I got to figure out a way to make it turn into something. Um, but anyway, that's just what's rolling around right now. So. Um, Thank you to the people who participated the other night. Yeah, it was mostly just conversational. I mean, it's just like a couple of people, kind of long conversations with a couple of people. And uh, at a time, you know, just very, not, not a much, not a very distracted conversation, just kind of pointed and direct and, uh, you know, it's quite adequate. Um, and, and such. So yay to those uh, participants, appreciated it. And, uh, until next time.